Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a magic review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Yep, we're doing a magic review because that's what this channel is all about. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for being here. I hope you like magic. I hope you like magic tricks. I hope you want to know what your money gets you when you buy magic tricks because sometimes the ad copy is confusing. They don't give you all the information. And so what I do is I peel that back and I tell you exactly what your money gets you. Case in point, today we're talking about the Puzzlement deck from Ian Wong. Before we get into that, make sure you hit me up with a like, subscribe, follow, mash all those buttons. When I look at my statistics, just look at uh, who's watching these videos. Most of you guys, most of you guys, the largest percentage of you guys and gals are not even subscribed. You're not even subscribed. Come on, man. It's the best way to say thank you. It's the best way to say thank you to me for what I do. Hit me up with a subscribe. That helps a lot. So like I said, Puzzlement Deck, Ian Wong, Amore, Magic, $40 from Hocus dash pocus.com that's where i receive mine uh the puzzlement deck what is it uh it's advertised as this kind of new spin on a classic forcing deck uh with four unique tricks that you'll uh, want to do in a professional setting there's been a lot of talk about what this deck is right uh, people have kind of beaten around the bush about what it is uh not here not here I peel it back, I tell you, I expose, I let you know exactly what your money gets you. So let's say you pay your 40 bucks. You pay your $40 to hocus-pocus.com, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get a nice little hard shell box. It's kind of like the new thing now. Put your deck in one of these uh, fancy schmancy boxes. Inside that, you're getting the deck and you'll get a download code to a video and the video is roughly 51 minutes long. Is it what I thought? Yes, it's what I thought. And it's what you think too. It's what you think. People who've been asking, is it this? Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> it is that, right? So that's, that's the long and short of it, okay? It is what you think. It is a classic forcing deck that is sold even at dollar source that you probably have at the bottom of your drawer. A classic forcing deck that you could easily buy from any magic site or eBay for less than five bucks, okay? Classic. However, as promised, Ian Wong says, it's not just that, it's more. So he's added some other bells and whistles to it to improve upon it or to, you know, kind of give it his spin. Now, the first part is uh, perhaps in the trailer, you might've noticed that he shows full fans and full spreads of cards. And uh, you might be thinking in your head, well, if it's the deck I'm thinking about, you wouldn't be able to do that. Ah, that all depends on how you display the deck. This deck is not set up in that classic style. This deck is set up in a 50-50 style. So if you ever had a 50-50 forcing deck, uh, that's what's being done here. So it's taking a deconstructed approach to a classic forcing deck, putting it into a 50-50 configuration, and then adding even more. That's right, there's even more more uh like mnemonica uh mnemonica has been added to this and markings the back of the deck is marked that's right it is marked and it's not marked with a marking it's done as a reader it's a very ingenious reader it's a beautiful reader actually i wish i could get a full deck of uh readers this way uh i think it's a it's a beautiful marking system can the deck be inspected no uh, it can't be inspected because it is this classic deck. Now, all that to say, the way Ian Wong teaches this though, the spectators will feel like they inspected it because most of these tricks rely on the spectator shuffling. So I think once you put cards in a spectator's hands and they do their own shuffling, they have this feeling like, oh, I felt it, I inspected it. Uh, the caveat is rarely do they see the faces, but like as is with this deck, it's possible that it could flash. That's the overall quality and production value of the video. Like I said, it's 51 minutes. It's mostly Ian Wong speaking to the camera with a single shot. 
He's at a padded card table. He is well mic'd. Uh, he is not speaking English, however. Uh, these are all subtitles, so you will need to watch this video or you will not know what's going on. Uh, as far as what they're going to teach you throughout this hour of instruction, uh, four tricks. And all four routines are done seated with a table, and three of them are done with multiple spectators. The first one is a do as I do effect. The deck is cut in half. Half is given to the spectator. Each one of you select a card from your own stack. You each shuffle your half, and then you trade halves. Each half is then spread across the table face down. The spectator is given a coin and he flicks the coin across each spread and he finds your card and his card. The second trick is called impossible coincidence. This is done with two spectators. The deck is cut in half. Half of the deck is given to each spectator. Each one selects a card. The magician then has written down a number. Let's say he's written down the number 15. Both piles are then dealt through and both cards are found at the selected number. The third trick is called Woodpecker. Again, this is done with two spectators. Each one selects a card in a unique way. The magician then does a falling dribble to the table and he's able to yank one of the chosen cards out of that waterfall. He then imbues the spectator, the first spectator, with that same power. They insert their fingers into the waterfall and they find the second spectator's card. The last trick is a double any card at any number and you're doing this kind of like as an instant stooge. There's four people at the table, including you. You have a spectator and then the person on your left uh, acts as the instant magician that you're gonna give power to and they have a spectator. So you need three other people for this trick. The magician deals cards to the table for uh, his own spectator. The person next to you deals cards to the fourth person and they select the card. Then both you and your magician helper predict what card the other person selected. And both of you are right. Your magician spectator then guesses what number the chosen card is at and they are right there as well. All right, so is the deck well made? That's a great question and normally I do deck reviews. So let's pause this for just a second and do a quick deck review because really at the end of the day, you're not just paying $40 for a trick. I mean, granted you're getting four tricks, right? But you're paying $40 for this deck. You are paying $40 for this deck. First of all, you'll notice this is not a United States playing card company deck or recognizable in any way. There's Empire Keeper at the top, Dragon Cards, playing cards standard. One side says Empire Keeper, made in Taiwan. The other side says Magic Finish, Empire Keeper. The bottom has some ad copy that says that they were made in Taiwan. And the top says Standard Face. You also have an original tuck seal and the back design of the cards. That's pretty much everything I can say about the tuck case. Let's look at these cards. The card back there is a mirrored image of a dragon on the top and bottom. You have some framework and it's done in red kind of made to look like a Taiwan version of the bicycle deck. Now I can't show you every single face, right? I can't show you every single card. Uh, I can show you 26 cards. Uh, you're gonna get two extra cards. You're gonna have a blank face card. And the second card you get uh, lists the card stack in Mnemonica. You'll see from the faces that they are standard bicycle faces, standard quartz, standard pips and indices. And then you have original ace of spades that has that same dragon in the middle of it, it says Empire Keeper Dragon Cards. That's just what the deck looks like. You also wanna know how it feels and handles, right? You're paying $40 for this deck. You want it to be a good deck. Um, this deck feels exactly like a Chinese deck. Feels exactly like a deck made from China. So it does not feel or handle like a bicycle deck. This feels cardboardy, it feels stiff, it feels glossy, and uh, the edges feel very, um, very smooth. And really, for a $40 price tag, I would have much rather not spent money on the nice box. For $40, you could have easily printed a deck from the United States Playing Card Company and had a more familiar tuck box and a more familiar back design and much better uh, made cards. Pocket space, it's just a deck. 
It's just a deck. That's all you need. It's all you take with you. You don't add anything or take away anything. How much practice does it require? I think the ad copy talks about how easy these card tricks are. And I, I would certainly think they are easy if you've A, had experience with a deck like this and you, you're fine shuffling cards like this um, and not worrying about order. But I'm, I'm going to say this is more of an intermediate level trick, okay? Because really what you're doing, this, and this is really where I wish that the ad copy had just been honest. I wish the ad copy had just been honest in this. I think sometimes as magicians, we try to trick the audience for sure, right? And we say one thing and do another. But magicians, we hate it when the, the manufacturers do it to us, right? And so I think this deck would have sold so much better and done so much better if, if they had just been honest in the ad copy. If they had just said, hey, it's the classic deck that's at the bottom of your drawer. It's the classic deck that you're not, you're not even thinking about anymore. You know, you bought it when you were young, you bought it when you were just starting out, and now you've kind of moved on. What we want to do is we want to take you now at the skill level that you're at now, and we want to take that skill and apply it back to that uh, deck of cards at the bottom of your drawer. But don't worry, these aren't going to be the types of tricks that you find in the, you know, 101 tricks with a blank deck, right? These are going to be, you know, these are going to be tricks that you will want to perform in your set. These are going to be tricks that you'll want to do in your professional routine. If they had just said it like that and market it as four effects that'll take that deck and kick it up a notch. And then they said, oh, and by the way, we've added some extra features and some bells and whistles to that deck to make it even better. And we've printed it from the United States Playing Card Company. Boom. You would have sold out. You would have sold out if you had just been honest with what the deck was and what they were trying to market. Because I think this really should be marketed not at people who want something easy to do or that are beginners or that it's self-working. I don't think they are. I think the more you know your way around a deck of cards, the more familiar you are with a deck of cards, the easier these will be. So not self-working, intermediate level. How much setup and reset is there? Um, pretty much all four tricks are done with the same deck stack, okay? They are done with the same deck stack. So you will have to move the deck back to deck stack. Positives, what are the positives? I think the positives are what I've been saying, right? These are great tricks. Great tricks that certainly think outside the box for what we normally think is possible with this classic deck. Th these tricks are gonna wanna make you pull that classic deck out and try some of these in now a real world professional setting. I, I definitely think that's true. Negatives, negatives, like I al already said, I wish the trailer had been just been a little bit more honest. I wish they had just told you what it was. Instead of giving it a name, like the puzzlement deck, I think that puzzled us, <laughs> right? We don't wanna be puzzled as magicians. We wanna know what our $40 is getting us. And so I think the, the trailer showed spreads of cards. It showed fans of cards and uh, it, it made you think that it was a different type of deck than it really was. That and the fact that the deck was made cheaply, I, I didn't like that. Um, you, they, yeah, they should have just been honest about what you were getting. And for $40, I know the instructions are an hour, but once you find out that it's the classic deck, and then you realize that you just paid $40 for that deck and four tricks, I wish they had given you some more tricks too. I wish they'd given you some more tricks, tricks that you could do maybe standing up, tricks that you could do perhaps more with a single spectator. I don't know how often I'm in a situation where I'm performing for two people, let alone three. So knowing that as well, that you need to be seated, you need to have multiple spectators. For $40, I wish they had just been up front and said, hey, this is the deck, we're gonna teach you way more tricks, advanced tricks with the deck. And by the way, we've included an extra special one of these decks to kick it up a notch. I think it would have done so much better. So is it worth your money? I'm gonna have to say no. The video is definitely worth your money. The video is worth your money. The deck, uh, that's the part that's gonna kind of leave you wanting more. But don't just take my word for it. There are other magic review channels out there. I'm not the only one. You should definitely Go watch other reviews before you spend your money. Most notably, Fiddlin' Johnny and Global Magic Shop. 
Fiddlin' Johnny, Global Magic Shop, both of them have their own reviews, their own opinion, their own highlights and lowlights. Definitely go check these guys out and give them your support. All right, that's everything I can say about the Puzzlement deck from Ian Wong. I, of course, got mine from Hocus-Pocus.com. Uh, please head on down to Hocus-Pocus.com. They've got a huge selection of your very favorite tricks. Fill up your shopping cart, ask them questions. They would love to help you uh, find everything that you need. Help them be your number one resource for magic on the internet. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.